What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Palette Idea Edition. Yes, it's your boy Ricky Jones Jr. And I am so excited as always to be here with you all today for this palette bill, which I am oh so oh so excited about because I get to do some more gardening in the back with five gallon buckets, which is I I love. I love to do like I love to be able to provide fresh, healthy, and organic vegetables and things for my family. And actually, I'ma build this one, and when we plant it. It's gonna be we because rain is gonna help. I'm gonna have Ricky out and maybe Crystal. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But for sure, Ricky, for sure, rain. Well, for sure, rain because Ricky may or may not come. We know how he'll say no for everything. But at the end of the day, whatever, we're gonna do what we have to do to go ahead and build this. So as you can see, I have my wood out. It feels like a lumber yard. It pretty much looks like a lumber yard, but nonetheless, we're gonna put everything together so it can be a cohesive one piece, and it's gonna be a three-tier situation. Now, this is one in which I have never done before, um, but I happen to be scrolling through YouTube, found Bumblebee Junction, I believe it's the name of the channel. He has a diagram and a layout and a video on how to do this i watched it i'm not going to do one as long as his mine is going to be shorter because of the space that is going in but nonetheless i just used what he did tweaked it to work for me and nonetheless we're going to see what it looks like when we put it together and if it works out well i'll put all the different measurements and things below i'll put a link to his video below too because i have to pay homage and give thanks to those that got me here okay and at the end of the day, I have to thank you. Thank you, subscribers, for all that you have done to get me here this day. And I uh, look forward to all that's going to take place next month with a lot of giveaways, different palette bills I will be giving away. So I'm looking forward to it. But nonetheless, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so to the DKUJ family, palettes and gardening and more. So I have my cutting to do. I've already gone ahead and measured everything out, laid everything out, know what to do, know how to cut and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And then after I cut it, we're going to build one side. And the one side looks good. We'll build the second side. And when the second side looks great, and then we'll go ahead and attach those bad boys. And ladies and gentlemen, we will be close to completion, okay? It's not, hopefully it's not long. But nonetheless, we'll walk through it. We'll step through it. So that when you go for it, you'll know what to do. All right? So you see this now. And shortly, you'll see a build completion project right there. Right there, right there, right there. Okay? All right, let's go for it. Yeah! And always remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you are cutting your wood, that you take the necessary safety precautions for your safety and for our excitement, okay? Make sure you have your goggles. Go ahead and put these bad boys on. And then make sure you have your gloves to make sure there are no splinters or anything that takes place during the cutting of the wood. All right? With these things being secured, now let's cut. <laughs> Things got a little smoky there, but hey, do what you have to do. Just take your time. You know, when it gets smoky, that means you're hitting a nail, sparks start flying, things like that. Just take a break, get off of it, because you don't want any smoke to ensue, fires to burn, none of that good stuff. Just ease up, give it a break, go to the next one, you know, give it a little bit, see what you can do, see if you can go all the way through. If not, just, you know, take your time. Okay, take your time. You don't want anything to burn, you want any mess. Take your time, do what you have to do, okay? 
All right, so now that that's done, we have everything cut that we need to actually cut. My prayer is that that is so. Um, we'll see. You know, I might have missed something. If so, we'll we'll go through it together. But nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and put one side together, and it should look nice. It should look right. And then if that is the case, then I'll go ahead and put the other side together, like I said before. But nonetheless, let me go ahead and do that, okay? I just want to make sure I talk about the sparks. The sparks may fly, but just, okay? Safety first. That's why you wear long sleeves. Long sleeves come in handy on times like this, okay? Protect yourself. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy together. Right, ladies and gentlemen, now we have one side done. I vastly underestimated the level of difficulty that would go into creating this project. But nonetheless, um, I'm working through it so that you can work easier on yours. One thing that I noticed is that um, with the middle piece, you want to make sure that it's centered. Okay, so I just measured out the top piece is 12 inches. That bar, long bar situation is 39. So I measured half of the 39 to be measured up, lined up identically with the six inch, half inch mark of the 12. And so that's how I kind of got my like middle point. That helped tremendously because before when I drilled it down I had it scooted over too much which I'm glad I measured before I finish but um yeah so little rule of thumb keep that in mind when you're doing it yourself because uh yeah when you have it all done and you think you're finished and you realize things is lopsided and uneven it's too late it's a problem and you have to go back okay and nobody <laughs> has time to go back because if you don't have time to do it right the first time Pretty sure you won't have time to do it right again, okay? So that's a little rule of thumb. Let's have fun. Let's go ahead and do the second side. Hopefully this side goes a little bit faster. I am in need of screws. So um, say all that to say I probably won't finish. No, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish. I'm just have to go to the store and do what I need to do. Even if it's dark, we're gonna get it done because we wanna get it done and we wanna get it done. I wanna get it done, so let's get it done. Subscribe, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now that I have both sides done, side right there, side right there, now I can just attach these bad boys, which I will do in the front first, just to get a feel for everything, and then I will do it on the back side. Um, and then I think I need to add the board that goes in between and then like the side piece. But if that doesn't make sense, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna do it and we're gonna attach it. Um, whew, I had to go get some more screws because I had gotten down to zero, okay? And I needed a lot more, as you can see, because we are not even there. We're halfway, we're halfway. I'll say we're at the halfway point. But nonetheless, let me go ahead and do that and let's see what happens.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we have made it into the night hours. I promised Rain that when she got home, we would ride her in her red car. So, you know, as a father, you have to keep your word to your children. So nonetheless, that is what we did. But hey, it's all good. I will finish this bad boy now. So I have the nice frame up. Now, as you can see, the side pieces are missing as well as the interior piece that holds the bucket in its like gap on either side, as well as, you know, hold this gap in the top. So now we will go ahead and build those, make those, cut those and do those and then attach those. So I've already measured them out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them. We will attach them and then hopefully we will get to see our finished product, okay? <laughs> go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Join the family. Ladies and gentlemen, and just like that, we have a completed project! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, 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 yeah! I am so excited about this bad boy now. I will say, it probably would look better if it was painted. But I don't know if I'm going to go to the great lengths of doing so. Um, hey, this was the mock of something that I look to do further iterations and things like that but this is the first time i get to do it for myself so you all know the place that i'm going to put it in i talked about that on my other video when i was out putting seeds in my other five gallon buckets but now i have to go get some more yeah 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 so this one is set up that it will hold three on the side three in the middle three on the other side there is a huge bug that is in here um hopefully it does what it needs to do and doesn't mess with me in the meantime Whoa, that thing is lost. But anyway, <laughs> so it can hold a grand total of six buckets. So if you take on the adventure of doing this, I would say to go ahead and carve out about three and a half hours, probably four will be sufficient now that you have the measurements that are necessary for the completion of your project. And then for two, just to go ahead and make sure you have all the necessary nails to have the project complete too. That will do you so much so much so much better than what i did because i spent probably about 25 minutes going and coming back from getting uh the screws but at any rate we have a finished product and now i can put it to where it's going to be which is outside uh, tomorrow i'll uh, you know i'll take a picture of it outside for the thumbnail and things like that we'll get a good feel of it in its space so it's done it's completed you can do it too because i did it that's the key. If I did it, you could do it. I did it, you could do it. You could do it because I did it. Just like that. All right? Love you, beautiful people. And I'm going to just show you all around, show you the nooks and crannies of it all so you can see. Boom, the two boards. Boom, the one up top. Boom, you can see it all. Maybe not because it's dark. But nonetheless, you can see what I'm working with. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so now I need to clean up, put this where it needs to go, and uh, yeah, I can relax now with my lovely family. All right, love you to people. Peace.